What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite glitches in Call of Duty World War II. This is the go-kart emote glitch. So, this one is a whole lot of fun, and it's just the world's most harmless, entertaining glitch ever. And I really hope um, the developers of the game just do not touch this one, because this one's just great. Uh, so, you do need to have the sit emote equipped. And what you do is you want to go into the sit emote and then you want to crouch and move forward at the same time that you're sitting. Now you got to get the timing just right, but if you crouch and move forward at the same time as you're sitting, you'll end up getting into a moving sitting stance and it almost looks like you're driving around in a go-kart. Now for this to work, you have to be constantly moving with the left thumbstick and stay moving around. Because if you stop, then you'll end up sitting permanently, and when you go to move, it'll just make your character stand up. So once you get into the glitch, you need to stay moving. And as for the timing, you gotta try to kind of time it so when your character is just about hitting the ground, you wanna first hit the crouch button and then move forward, like, instantly. Um, right after you hit the crouch button, do not sprint forward, just move forward. It will take you a couple of tries, but once you get good at it, you'll be able to do it first try. And this is a ton of fun, especially when you get a bunch of friends in the lobby and you all scoot around like this, like you're on little go-karts. It can be a lot of fun, and it's a cool little trick to show people that might not have seen it. So yeah, that's all there is to this one. If you guys found this helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome Call of Duty videos just like this. And as always, guys, thank you for watching from XM360.